Hey guys, Killer6 back with another video for you, and this time I'm going to show you a simple, fast farming route to get yourself a lot of Moonstone, a lot of uh, skins, heads, uh, legendary, a unique, and who knows what else. Probably some cool uh, purples and blues. So basically, you're going to go to Crisis Scar, and I want to thank my buddy Super Reaper 1999. He is the one that originally showed this, and there will be a link in the description below to his channel and his video on this. And basically all this is, is a shortcut to get to Red Belly, who is a uh, sort of a mini boss, I guess you would call him, uh, over here in Crisis Scar. And uh, he drops um, a unique SMG, and he also drops the Striker, which is a uh, legendary shotgun, which a lot of you may remember was a legendary shotgun from Borderlands 2 as well. And it is exactly the same as the, the Borderlands version. Now here's the uh, first part of the shortcut, you want to jump and boost over this. Now there's going to be some guys here, you can choose to fight them like I did, or you can ignore them and just pass on through this area over here. Now over in this area there are also some more bad guys, and I would advise just to ignore them, maybe throw a grenade like that, just to piss them off, and then you're going to just keep on following this route. Now over here is the probably the trickiest part of the whole thing, there is a light pole right here. You should jump on top of this, and then jump and boost on top of this roof. When you get over here, you want to jump and boost over to the bridge. From there, it's just a matter of following the path and going in through the door over here so you can fight Red Belly. Now, the Red Belly fight itself is actually pretty simple. Um, basically, the fight breaks down into two parts. You do some damage to Red Belly. He's going to jump to the center of the ring, and then he's going to split into two parts so that he is now red, which is the helmet. Uh, midget in a helmet, I guess you would say, and Belly, who is uh, the big belly of the operation. And Belly drops the striker, as you can see right here. And I do believe that Red is the one that drops the unique SMG, but uh, I have not yet confirmed that, so I can't tell you for certain. But here you can see that we got the Sidewinder striker. This is actually not too bad. And uh, yeah, now. To continue this route, what I would recommend is making sure you get all the Moonstone, because there's quite a bit that gets scattered around through here. And if you do this run, you know, 10-15 times, you're going to have probably a good 100 or more uh, Moonstone. This this is a, a nice way to, to farm Moonstone early on in the game, so that you can upgrade your, uh, your ammo and your backpack and storage decks. Now, once you have grabbed all the Moonstone, what you want to do is you want to head toward the, the center room up here near the top. And when you go in through here, there is a red chest in the middle. Now, I have not gotten anything better than greens out of this chest, but maybe you guys have had better luck than me. Let me know in the comments below if you have. Uh, but here's the, the best part, though, is after you're done with this chest, I want you to go up to the top here and go ahead and toggle your badass rank off and on, forcing a save. Now, the reason you're going to do that is so that if you spend your uh, moonstone on this chest and you get nothing good, then you can just Alt F4 on PC and you know quit without saving, or dashboard on Xbox to quit without saving. So if you found this helpful, make sure you click that like button and hit subscribe. Take care. Fabled Tortoise. This is the first legendary that I've gotten in Borderlands, the pre-sequel. A random world drop, or if that's a consistent drop for Torque Dredger's Gooder. And if this looks familiar, there's a good reason why. It is just like the conference call.